Hey everybody, uh, Christian again from RGV Custom Sabers. This uh, uh, commission is for Craig, and it is his Ultimate Works uh, Count Dooku. And I gotta say, the moment that I got this in my hand, I I was blown away. It is I'm it's as far as I know, it's it's one to one scale. Um, it's made of stainless steel uh, mainly, and so it's got a good weight to it. It feels legit. Um, I love the way this feels. And uh, so uh, Craig sent it to me to install and um, thank you for that because this was my first time holding one of these and I was I was absolutely blown away. So um, as I said it is uh, stainless steel. Inside we've got a Tri-Cree uh, red green royal blue LED. Um, we've got a Prism 5 no, a Prism 4. Um, and Craig actually took it upon himself to to machine out the inside a bit to fit the Prism 4 in there. Um, it's a, I think it's a 28 millimeter. Or no, actually, it's I think it's a 24 millimeter speaker, if I remember correctly. Um, uh, Craig wanted this top gold greebly right here for activation. So that was fun. We had to figure out a good way to to fit a very very small uh, tactile switch in there, um, and I got it figured out. It was a, it was it was a a nice challenge. Um, he wanted both of these side buttons on either side here to function as auxiliary, which was the first time I had wired up two auxiliary switches. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. Um, in the uh, cover tech knob here, we've got your kill key. The, uh, the black 3D printed kill key that came with the hilt um, is supposed to be a twist kill key, but the window is in the twist kill key is too wide, or it's, it's too tall, either one. So it doesn't cut power to the board, unfortunately. Um, so I will be sending it with this one. I will include the, uh, the black uh, kill key. Um, when I send it back to you, just because, you know, it looks good with just solid black in here. Um, but when I ship it, it will include this kill key right here. Um, yeah, so I am going to go ahead and fire it up. Um, I might want to, you know, remove the kill key before I do that. Oh, come on. I've become more powerful than any Jedi. So, uh, uh, the stock, I left the stock sound fonts on here, um, but I did add in some uh, Count Dooku boot sounds for you. This is uh, my Vader red color. It's a little bit more of a magenta. You'll see it better when I get a blade in there. Um, but it's not just straight red. Let me get in focus here. There we go. Tried to trigger a fourth sound. Alright, I'm gonna switch. Oh, haha. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to switch sound fonts like a nano. I just finished up a couple of nano installs, so. There we go. This is Dark Meat. Of course, since I wired both of these up, they both function as auxiliary, so you can press them at the same time and it'll still switch your, your fonts like normal, which I thought was cool. Um, so this is Light Meat. You can activate the uh, blasters with your palm, which is nice. Alright, we'll go back to 
I've become more powerful than any Jedi. This is uh, this is gray. Back to gray meat. Gray meat's one of my favorite default fonts. Let me show you a close look at that chrome there. Sorry, I'm trying to focus my camera. I'm a film guy, so I don't have a auto-focusing camera. Oh, hey, look, there's me. Hi. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I love, I love this right here. And the, uh, the grip areas are rubber, um, which they're super, super comfortable. I, I love them. I know a lot of people complain that the, that the, the grip, uh, the rubber adhesive doesn't stick as well as they would like to, which, yes, um, that has been the case, but I, but you can't beat the feel of actual rubber. Like, sure, you can anodize the metal, but they don't feel anything like, like, rubber. It's just really comfortable. Keep going out of focus here. And then your pommel right there. So, um, uh, Craig, I'm sure you're familiar, but I will just, I will go, I will go over it. Um, I'll open up the, uh, help for you. Show you your SD card access. Um, so it's this, uh, this bottom screw right there. Loosen it a couple turns, and you want to you want to gently just kind of rock it out. You don't want to you don't want to you know obviously yank it out. You could break some wires. Um, there's some of your wiring right there. You do get a fair bit of slack. Um, you're able to kind of pull it apart about that much. So let me get in frame here. Ah, oh, can't really see it in there. But um, right in here is your SD card access. You'll see it in person. Um, yeah. So then when you're all done, um, I have this twisted at a good spot to where the wires will coil themselves up. So don't, uh, don't uh, like untwist this too much. Because, um, yeah, that's, that's what you want. You want your wires to kind of coil up on themselves on themselves kind of like a snake best way to keep everything running so when you're done with your SD card changes you just tighten your screw don't over tighten um, it is uh, it's all steel so I don't know how likely the threads are to strip um, probably not super likely but uh, yeah, you don't want to over tighten, but um, it's a good like solid hilt. I wouldn't go dueling with it, of course. I mean, it is a seven eighth inch blade diameter, and it's also just kind of bolted together. So I wouldn't do any like hard dueling with it. But it is stainless steel, so I mean, it can take some punishment. It is quite durable. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a blade in there quick. Yeah, I just had my blade with me. There it is. Alright, so this is just one of my test uh, 7 8 blades. The emitter socket is really nice and tight too, and I really like that. It's not loose or wobbly, and I haven't even tightened the, uh, the uh, screw at the bottom here. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm gonna lower that. So that's, that's my Vader red color. A little bit more of like a salmon red. Um, a, it's a lovely color, especially with this hilt. Turn back up here. So you got a lime green flash on clash. And then, of course, um, with Prism V4, you do have color change. This is um, amber. Yellow, a um, little bit more of a lemony yellow. We got some green, I think that's lime green. And then cyan, and then more of a sky blue. Closer to a medium blue. 
And then this is uh, indigo, I believe. And then pink or magenta. And back to regular red. And then back to Vader Red. So yeah, um, Craig, I will be shipping this out to you um, probably, probably tomorrow, I think. Um, but I didn't want you to wait any longer. Um, I'm doing uh, two Darth Mauls also for Craig, and I'm actually I'm building the chassis from scratch, so they're taking a bit longer. Than I would have liked, so I didn't want him to wait any longer for his uh, Dooku while I work on those. So I will be shipping this out to you tomorrow. So anyway, um, uh, that about does it. Uh, thank you guys very much. Um, if you are interested in a commission, you can always hit us up over at RGV Custom Sabers, as well as if you have any questions about sabers in general, we are always happy to uh, to assist our customers and our friends in the saber community. Um, so again, thank you all very much for watching, and may the Force be with you.